Hi, today me and my inner geek are reviewing the new movie, Kin. So Kin is about two brothers. One's 14 year old and the other one has just come out of prison. These two brothers go on the run after a robbery goes bad. And it's really about the bond that these two estranged brothers um, share on this uh, this road trip on the run. For me, I think it's, it falls a little flat. I think that the cinematography and the camera work in it's really good. I really like the way that the camera moves through a scene. I don't think they ever ponders too long or I never feel that there's any sort of too quick cuts that I can't see what's going on. So I think from a technical standpoint, I think that, that the camera work and everything was was really good and the cinematography likewise been nothing extraordinary but still still uh, well done like I said for me it falls a little bit flat and that is mainly because I don't feel that there's any sort of emotional weight put behind any of the actions without trying to give too much away I just feel that anybody who ever does anything right in it kind of gets punished and I feel that the underlining theme for the whole film was was summed up in one of the lines which is basically a good man does the right thing even when it's the hard thing and I felt like that could have been built on a lot more and there could have been a lot more resonance around that sort of phrase um, and a lot more payoff and I think one of the one of the the major flaws it had for me was it builds up this sci-fi suspense and there's this without again giving too much away there is something coming for them and I just felt that the payoff of what that was was very left field and left very open and didn't really connect to the main story it didn't lead anywhere with the characters but didn't also pay itself off uh, and for me that just left me feeling like what, what was the point um, so for scores for this film um, I would probably give it a lowly 3 out of 10. I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, I really wanted to like this film and I didn't hate it but I just didn't feel rewarded. I think that the effects in it were cool, I think there are cool elements within it which I'm sure that my inner geek will have geeked out on and I really enjoyed but it just, it just didn't pay itself off enough for me. So. Without further ado, let's let's get the guy up himself. Let's see what what he thinks. Hello YouTube, I am the Inner Geek, and today we're reviewing the movie Kin. And believe it or not, I have to agree with him on the part where he said the movie felt a bit flat. Just in places for me, but we all know why you're here watching me. You all want me to talk about the sci-fi part, don't you? Well, the sci-fi part for me was good. It's not as... It's not as integral as it's shown to be in the trailer, but it does come into play, and when it does, it's um, it's the best parts of the movie, I think. I mean, the gun he's got, it actually looks like it's something that could work when you see it like in action, you know, the part, the moving parts, it looks like that would actually, you know, work. And there, there is a twist at the end that I feel was tacked on, you know? It's, it's borrowing from a from a well-known and, dare I say, overused sci-fi trope that I can't go into much more detail about because that would give too much away from the film. I am just gonna say James Franco, awesome in everything he's in, because he is. James Franco and the sci-fi parts are the best parts of the movie. It's just a shame that we don't get to see the, um, the second firing option of the gun that the kid finds because we see like the, the first and the third but we don't get to see the second 
it's about time we get around to the scoring. He gave the film a 3 out of a 10. Personally, I think I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I give it a 6 out of 10 because of the sci-fi element is well done. The special effects in the movie are sublime. Nothing bad I can say about those. The only reason I don't give this score any higher is because, again, as he said, the film did seem to be a bit flat, and certain bits just seemed to, to drag on a bit. But that's my opinion. Okay, YouTube, I'm the Inner Geek. Embrace your own. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click here. Or if you'd like to see other content that we create, click here. And please, if you haven't already, Subscribe by clicking here. Thanks.